Good evening and good morning to the One Piece Verse. This is Big D Mike bringing you guys and gals One Piece La. Yeah. All right. So we got the latest chapter for One Piece the Goat. 1077. Uh, the title is You Should Have Put It Together Sooner. We got a cover page continuing on. The Jerma Double Six. It's a cover page story. We got Judge. We got Caesar. <laughs> Thinking of Vegapunk. Wait a sec. It's all Vegapunk's fault. Now they've come to an agreement. That it's all Vegapunk's fault. So they're no longer fighting. They're probably going to be joining together against Vegapunk. Interesting. Are they going to be replacing... Are they going to be replacing Vegapunk? Vegapunk's position in the world government. Because here's the situation. Vegapunk is definitely being hunted down... Like a scalded dog, scalded dog about a world G, you know, about a WG, the world government, yeah. So, definitely, they'll have to find someone to replace him. And kind of the next best thing is two intelligent minds who are full of themselves, Caesar and uh, and Judge. Now. There's a possibility that Queen is already in prison by the WG because of Ryukugyu or Green Bull. Alright? There's a possibility, but it's not confirmed. Okay? Okay. Alright. So let's get going. Let's get it on! Fabio Street of Egghead, we got sent tomorrow here. You guys have to get off of this island. Okay. What are you talking about, said tomorrow, son? Tell us what's going on here. Why did you why did you deploy the pacifista? There was once an island called O'Hara. One day out of nowhere it was wiped off the map. So he knows. What well, it makes sense that he would know because they are he is working for Vegapunk so he knows that they are uh, researching about the holy glyphs so it just makes sense all because the people there oppose the world government they yeah they, they are technically opposing the government but the way that uh, the way that Clover presented it during O'Hara and all that they were just really researching. They were just really wanting to find out and document everything that they figured out about the Void Century. There was no intention to oppose the go world government. There was no intention to ride against the world government. It's all about documenting history. That's pretty much it. It's just that the world government didn't want didn't want that to happen, so they got to cut, you know. They got to cut them loose. Okay, a refresher on O'Hara. So, when the anime comes in and animates this part, we're gonna be having maybe a two to three minute flashback. More likely, reanimate. The island of O'Hara was the host of the largest library in the world. Scholars gathered there to conduct research on the Poneglyphs. Despite the topic being taboo, the Navy was eventually sent in to eliminate everyone on the island, including villagers. Yeah, because they want everything completely gone. They don't want any loose ends. Nico Robin was the sole survivor of the massacre. No, because this, this bastard is still alive. Jaguar, day soul is still alive. The fact they're targeting Grandpa Punk shows how serious they are about erasing him. They're willing to lose the world's greatest mind 
over this. That's why I think what whatever's coming will be even more monumental. And this place will be ground zero. Talk about ground zero. All right, let's see. Hurry, Straw Hat. What's going on up there? Control room, fourth floor, building A. Someone's huffing and puffing. What's up with this, guys? Oh, okay. Gear four. Cone organ. Handgun. Yellow Lotus. So there's like another version of Madara. Yeesh. Okay. Just to highlight this. We all know that the Seraphims are have lunarium bodies. All right. And we're seeing a gear fort post Wano Luffy and a literal post Wano Luchi here blasting with multiple attacks. Esper. That just gives you more information on how tough this freaking kids are. Because they are kids. They're not adults, yes, but they are freaking tough. Run, kyuk. This is like another version of run, you know. Run, kyaku. Run. Ooh. Okay, so Zoro here at, at the left side panel. One sword style. Me told you, EA. This is so so I don't know how the enemy is pronouncing Lisa, but I know it's Lion Song. This is so so And nothing. Nothing. They're completely unharmed. The thing is, Bart really loves that belt. And what the heck? They're getting up way too easily. Do they think they're Kaido or something? Cut it out already! <laughs> Luffy freaking uh, complaining over two kids, not you know, not crumbling down after massive attack after massive attack. All right, now that you mention it, they remind me of King, that guy I fought in Wano, a Lunarian on Kaido's crew. I never caught what his people were called. I see that must have been Albert. Yeah, that is his name. The test subject who long ago escaped punk hazard with Kaido. The Seraphims owe their toughness to his Lunarian blood. No kidding. In that case, pay attention to the flames on their backs. Our attacks will only be effective when they go out. Really? He was pr practically invincible when he was on fire. My bad. If I clocked it sooner, I could have saved us some stamina. No matter, with this intel, we can finally make some progress. Okay. Yeah, there wasn't much about King to clue me in. He only had a couple of unique features. White hair, brown skin, black wings, and the flames on his back. Freaking Zoro, you're freaking slow, man. Holy crap. You should have put it together sooner. So that's the title. That's where the title comes from. Uh. Okay. Hey, Helmet, where are you going? I think I may know where the Stellas got into. Don't get in the way. Ooh, okay, cool. We're in a bit of a rush. Oh, okay. Nami fans rejoice. You are being blessed. You are literally being blessed right now, boys. You are being blessed by the image in front of me right now. Woo okay.
All right. Cool. Cool. Now I'm showing her features to the audience. Last time it was York. Now it's Nami. Let's wait for Robin. Ikuze, Zeus. We can't treat him like a kid anymore. He's a heartless killing machine. Oh. Well, Brooke is fine. This is not the first time we saw Brooks had, you know, decapitated. One of our friends have been have already been ambushed. And he basically totaled Edison. Really, if you look at it, not really. He's still functioning. He's definitely not a kid, and he's not cute either. That's right, Nami. Don't hesitate. Close your eyes if you have to. Just fling me and I'll handle the rest. Sorry. So it, it's kind of like Lance Thunder Lance Tempo, the, the the move that he that she used against Khalifa, and you know, uh, as Vista during Sabaudi. Woo, man! Internals fried, but still has his flames at his back, so he's still okay. I'm sorry, Jimbei. Splash, splash. Brooke noticed the sound. He dove down again. Nami-san, run. It's coming from below. What? It didn't work? Ooh, okay, okay. So, Brooks going to be attacking the Seraphim. Cool. Oh, Baldo. Oh. If I rule the country, my decrees would be simple. Decree one. Anyone who threatens Nami-san will face capital punishment. That's Sanji. That that speck of ink blot right there. That's Sanji. This this is Sanji. All right. Decree nine. Anyone who makes her scream will receive a rare fillet strike. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, makes me think that he's using Jaburu Jam, Diaburu Jam, but it might not be. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, in the anime, more like. Sanji, are you okay? Oh, are you okay, Nami-san? I can't take care of this. You won't get another warning, small fry. I don't give a damn if you're a kid or if you're another Jimbei. I'll be your judge and jury. An executioner, Jinabarat. Jin Kozo. How dare you petrify York? The bubble again. What? You just brush it off like. Huh? What? Okay, so she pretty much just carried it away. But after that happens, she collapsed. Green blood gives green blood gives you the pros and cons of having a fruit ability. And this bubbles were designed to harness the ocean's energy. Oh, oh. Oh, that's that's interesting. They're still affected by the normal issues. <clears throat> Wait. So they're still affected by seawater then? So sea prisms would still work against them. And being submerged in water. Interesting, interesting. Well, it kind of makes sense too, because if it's the lineage factor of the Paramecia fruits, it would also mean that anything that contains that would still be affected by water and Hiroseki. Oh, okay, interesting. Now, it's 
the freaking bubble gun is a lot more interesting now because it contains the properties of the ocean pretty much it contains the properties quote unquote of sea prism okay or it's just made out of seawater that is also a possibility you're freaking awesome Lilit. okay i'll catch her while she's down Stay back, you impudent loat. Guess it's already worn off. That's because it only grazed her. Oh my god, that's cute. She's mad now. Oh, Frankie holding the bubble. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it, it just it, it makes sense that he's able to hold it. It makes sense. It makes sense. Because she was able to parry it out so it's kind of a solid on its own interesting interesting he smashed the bubble on her head and it's literally on top of her take that you rascal frankie you genius you use that bubble perfectly fucking bubbles give up already runt this is agonizing uh sorry no! Jeeps! Crap! Frank is petrified. Half of his body, though. Not, not full, not full on Frankie. Yeah! Frankie's turning to stone. He's gonna die. Bubble Multiple bubbles. She, she literally just passed through them evading them completely and then going all cute oh my god and she turned oh god she turned both lilith and usopp freaking stone she petrified both of them this is horrible and frankie's half stone right now that's interesting that is interesting. Hmm. How will be able? How will he be able to get out of this? Oh, underground old devil fruit research lab. Who's there? Are you the one behind all of this? Come out, come out and show yourself. Can't be. All right, so Shaka does know where the Vega, where Vegapunk is. You're those Cyberpole agents. I saw you had come and gone ages ago. Why are you here? Save us. I don't want to die. Shaka. Stella. So this is where you were. Who could have done this? I'm glad you're okay. Let me help. Uh, Say Shaka. Who's that you brought with you? What? Oh! Oh, he's dead. He's dead, that's dead. He dead! He did. Uh. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dead. He's dead. All right. He's dead. All right. That bullet passed through his head. Look at the pile of blood. Literally leaking at the back of his head. He's dead. He's freaking dead. Shaka. Yeah. Oh, he's been shot. What's going on? Who was that?
<laughs> God dang it. God dang it. I feel we should know who's making that sound. I feel we should know. We have to really go back. I, I need to get back on the prior chapters to figure it out because it it feels that this is something we should know already. The sound effect. If not, then there's there's a new character. Is there gonna be like a new character? Because I don't think that the the the, the 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 whoever the traitor is someone that we don't know. It should be something that we know. It should be someone we know. And Oda won't be putting this if it's not something that we know. He wouldn't be putting this type of sound if we didn't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, really? Okay, I just saw that comet and I need to go back. Did it really switch? Yeah, it's here, it's here. Okay, that's his eyebrow, normal. It did! It did freaking change! Does his eyebrows change to a six when he's angry? Is that the current way how he's able to unlock or tap into the germ abilities you know the exoskeleton the advanced region and everything like that is that the way he has to be extremely mad okay he's passionately angry that's probably the situation there and wait a minute, is that flame? On his back? Yeah, I think that's a flame on his back. Okay, so is he gonna have like a Lunarian situation? Uh, again, it's already being theorized that whatever judge put in his body or was in him when they were being modified inside uh Soros, you know boom and all that maybe one of that would be lunarian you know lunarian dna lunarian um uh i forgot what the term is but again dna so if this flame is literally it's literally on Sanji's back. This would confirm that Sanji is part Lunarian. He just doesn't have the brown skin and all. Because if he has brown skin, because we, we all know what will happen. Zoro's gonna get some. <laughs> oh, that is that is that really looks like a freaking flame on his back. At the back of his head because that ain't Zeus that's definitely not Zeus okay okay so there's a couple of things that we need to figure out one if that is fire at the back of freaking Sanji's head uh, head and who makes this sound who makes 
who does make who makes that sound in one piece who god dang it all right so for now guys that's it for now um uh, if you guys no not if you guys liked it you like this video right you definitely do <laughs> Please like on this video, subscribe to the channel to get more One Piece content of any sort. That would be manga, reviews, possible theories, and uh, anime, live reactions, and so on and so forth as well. And yeah, support this channel, please. That would really help me a lot. And uh, hopefully that will be the situation where it gets monetized and all. <laughs> what up? Without further ado, thank you again, guys. Have a great day. Have an awesome week. Too sweet to you all. Oh, sorry. Smile always and too sweet to all of you. Cheers.